Okay, so this is not a pet I ever planned on getting, ever. But I fell in love with the convenience, if we're being honest. <laughs> so convenient and so cute. You cannot ask for more. What can I say? Your girl is broke. Send me some cash if you got a problem with that. Okay. <laughs> Hey you guys, it's MJ and welcome back to Pet Adventures again. So today I am going to talk about something I never thought that I would ever have. I got a brand new pet and it has taken me a little while to show him because I wasn't sure if I should show him anytime soon because uh, just so you know, when I'm doing this, I'm not picking my nose. Like I know that's what it looks like, but it's not happening. Trust me, it's not because I wouldn't do that. But in all seriousness, I did get a brand new pet. It is kind of an exotic pet, like like really exotic. It's not something I ever thought I would get. It happened on a whim, okay? But the care was super easy. How could I not say no? The convenience was super easy. I even had the food in my backyard ready to go, okay? It's that easy, okay? So before I officially start this video, please subscribe to this channel and ding that bell so you can be notified every time I make a video. And don't forget, we recently released new shirts. And if you go down to teespring.com and get one of those bad boys for yourself, you can take a picture with it and your favorite pet. Again, you don't have to show your face, but just take a picture with it or make a video with it with you wearing it and your favorite pet whatever that pet is that you have and I will feature it right here on pet adventures you can send those through Instagram you can tag me in them whatever you want to do direct message or you can email it to me whatever you like and all those links and everything you need to know is down in the, the little section down there below the description section I almost forgot the name for that thing that place but it's down there okay everything's on the down low That doesn't make sense. <laughs> it's, it's, it's there, okay? So just do it. I don't have anger issues, in case you were wondering. <sighs> so without further ado, let's learn about some pets. <laughs> oh, the big reveal. So here it is. I have a pet leaf. Look, look a little bit closer, you don't see anything. You sure? Okay, let me zoom it in for you. How about now? Work it, girl. So this is my leaf insect. He is super cute. I have only had him for, I think, a month or so, but he is super cute. <laughs> so cute. You're the best. Yes, you are. Yeah, so I actually don't really have a name for him yet. I don't really know what I'm going to call him. But, I don't know, I feel like Leafy is, is too generic <laughs> or something. But, he's so cute. And I love how it's so easy to handle him because he is just like, like he's so slow, he's not fast moving. It's so simple to handle him. I wish every pet were this simple. And like you guys know that I have such an issue with fast animals that can escape me easy. Well, like, he's just, he's not like that. So I'm kind of glad that I don't really have to deal with that. <laughs> but he is growing super fast. He was so tiny when I got him. He was literally like the size of the tip of my pinky. And now he's like already the size of my pinky. It's insane. So these guys only live up to about a year. And I am still learning quite a lot about them. I honestly still am learning, so I don't want to do a care video on him anytime soon. But I will show you guys his enclosure. And I will show you guys like what he's currently eating and things like that. But yeah, he is really, really cute. Love the way he looks. And a lot of people also get mantises, which are cute. But the whole leaf insect thing was a lot cuter in my opinion, a lot more beautiful and the fact that they just blend in with uh, with leaves so well just really kind of struck me like it really amazed me that these guys blend in with leaves so amazingly and 
often I, I can't find him in his cage. So <laughs> that's kind of funny too. So again, if you guys can leave some comments down below on what I should name him because I have no clue what I'm going to name him. If you guys have any, by the way, that's what they do. They kind of rock back and forth like that. But if you guys have any um, comments on like what I should name him, please let me know. I'd love some name suggestions. I feel like Leafy is just too generic. I don't, I feel like it's too common, but he is so cute. And um, he is growing super fast. So I'm going to put him up and I'm gonna talk a little bit about him. So he is currently living in this little thing. This is literally like all they need. And he has leaves that I replace every other day or so. I also tend to mist a lot so that they get a lot of moisture. If the leaves dry out, I am supposed to replace them every single time. So I have an endless amount of these leaves. I have mango trees in my yard, my front yard. So he's good. So he eats mango leaves. Mango leaves are really great for them. They can also eat a few other types of leaves, which escape me, I kind of forget. So, um, but yeah, they eat a few other leaves. Let me see. Oh yeah, so they also eat blackberry and oak leaves. So if you have oak leaf, blackberry leaves, mango leaves, and even rose leaves they can have. However, please make sure that there are absolutely no pesticides at all in your in your area or anything like that because if there's pesticides, it will instantly kill them. These guys are considered an insect, therefore pests. So make sure, if you're not sure, do not attempt giving them any kind of oak, rose, or mango leaves, please do not. So also blueberry leaves, don't forget that. So he's eating mango leaves because that is what I mainly have. I might have some oak leaves in my yard, <laughs> excuse me, but I'm not sure. But yeah, I just have some sticks from my yard and then leaves and I rinse all of this off before I actually put it in his cage. So I missed it. When you do mist, please be careful that there aren't any super large droplets so that they don't drown because they have small little faces and they're not fast moving so they can't really escape that. But yeah, he is super cute and I was I was so excited when I got him. <laughs> like legit, like I was so happy. But yeah, that's him. That's my leaf insect. Uh, it's my new pet and I'm still not sure what I'm gonna call him. I don't have a name for him, so please leave some comments down below. Question of the day, comment of the day rather. What should I name him? Well, that's, a, that's a question. What should I name him? Because I have no clue. Leave some names down below because I would love to hear it. So please subscribe to this channel if you haven't already and give this video a big thumbs up, especially if you love pets or leaf insects. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.